एवरीवन दिस इज देविका शर्मा एंड वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी सिक्स एपिसोड ऑफ एस एस सी ऑनलाइन वीकली रिवाइन टूडे वी ब्रिंग यू सम ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट लीगल स्टोरीज ऑफ द वीक डोंट गो एनी वेयर एज वी विल ऑल्सो अनाउंस द विनर ऑफ दिस वीक्स एस एस सी ऑनलाइन क्विज लेट स्टार्ट विद द सुप्रीम कोर्ट अपडेट्स इन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग डिसीजन सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्थ दैट such persons whose place of origin or domicile on or before the appointed date that is 15 november 2000 was of the state of bihar now falling within the districts or origins which form a successor state that is state of jharkhand under section 3 of the bihar reorganization act can claim the benefit of reservation for participation in public employment in either of the successor state of bihar or state of jharkhand reservation can however not be completed in both the states simultaneously the supreme court has upheld the allahabad high court's decision ordering demolition of towers 16 and 17 of emerald court constructed by supertech limited in noida it has been held that the two towers were constructed illegally in violation of statutory regulations the court has also ordered Supertech to refund with interest the amounts invested by allottees of flats in these two towers. Further, the Supreme Court also upheld the High Court's direction for sanctioning prosecution against officials of Supertech and Noida for collusion and possible statutory violations. Significantly, the court observed that unfortunately, the diverse and unseen group of flat buyers suffers the impact of the unholy nexus between builders and planners their quality of life is affected the most yet confronted with the economic might of developers and the might of legal authority wielded by planning bodies the few who raise their voices have to pursue a long and expensive battle for rights with the little certainty of outcomes as this case demonstrates they are denied access to information and are victims of misinformation read the full report on scc online blog this proving the course adopted by the single judge of gujarat high court in issuing an oral direction restraining the arrest of the accused in a criminal case involving allegations of forgery and cheating the supreme court said that such procedure is open to grave abuse and it would set a dangerous precedent if the parties and the investigating officer were expected to rely on unrecorded oral observations the supreme court expressed that judges speak through their judgments and orders the element of judicial accountability is lost where oral regimes prevail this is unacceptable judges as much as public officials over whose conduct they preside are accountable for their actions reversing a judgment of the madras high court delivered over a decade ago the supreme court held that the state level scrutiny committee had no power to reopen the matter relating to the caste certificate that had been approved by the district vigilance committee without an appeal being filed against such order the supreme court declared that reopening of inquiry into caste certificates can only be in case they are vitiated by fraud or when they were issued without proper inquiry now let's look into the foreign courts texas legislation imposing a near complete ban on abortions gets a green signal as courts declines to grant any relief on the matter in a significant decision which can have major repercussions on a woman's choice to abort in the united states the supreme court of the united states with a ratio of 5 is to 4 declined to block the texas law which imposes a near complete ban on abortions let's move to the high courts considering whether prior to the decision on divorce petition creating a matrimonial profile expressing the will and consent would be a ground for divorce the bombay high court held that this amounts to mental cruelty of high degree accordingly the court granted divorce on petition filed by the husband the madras high court has observed 
that there are some matters in which exact answers may not be available as the only known intelligent life form in the universe endeavors to grapple with the unknown the quote said this while rejecting a writ petition where direction was sought on the government of tamil nadu to spread public awareness about the scientifically proved truth on the subject of astrology and its serious impacts the madras high court dismissed a petition challenging union of india's order by which the petitioners claim for printing the image of netaji subhash chandra bose in the currency notes was rejected significantly the court observed that what is the use of printing images of great leaders who fought for our independence without following their principles in currency notes merely because the portrait of mahatma gandhi is appearing in the currency does it mean that the currency is used only for legal purposes read the full report on scc online talk quashing an fir registered for insulting the indian national flag by leaving national flag at hoisted position at about 8:30 pm that is between sunset and sunrise the madhya pradesh high court held that since the flag court does not have any statutory force it cannot attract any offense the court observed that flag court is not law as defined in article 13 of constitution of india and is a mere compendium of executive instructions the kerala high court addressed the plight of mentally ill remand prisoners who were languishing in prisons being abandoned by family and friends calling it blatant violation of basic human rights as well as fundamental rights guaranteed by the constitution the court issued a series of interim directions which you can read at the scc online blog high court for jammu and kashmir and ladakh dealt with an intriguing question regarding criminal liability of a debtor for abetment of suicide by the creditor the court has held that though different people may react differently in a given situation but mere refusal by the debtor to repay the loan amount could not be considered to be an act of abetment to drive the creditor to commit suicide can bank guarantee be in cash during their validity period the delhi high court answered this question in the affirmative and said that there is no judicial finding to state that a bank guarantee cannot be in cash during its validity period the court observed that bank guarantees are not furnished for being photo framed and kept in a drawing room high court of meghalaya has observed that in respect of the vaccination policy presently adopted by the state of meghalaya and particularly in remote villages there were eligible persons who cannot be vaccinated simply because they do not possess any aadhar card the court thus requested the state not to insist on production of aadhar card as the only proof of identity since there were other recognized options available to citizens of india to present their proofs of identity now coming to the tribunals central administrative tribunal has held that compassionate appointment cannot be equated with family pension slamming the respondents for their insensitive and inconsiderate attitude towards a person with 82% permanent disability the tribunal said that this correspondence between the parties indicates lack of any sensitivity and concern towards a physically handicapped person the net result is that a physically handicapped person whose parents have expired is being denied the family pension which is due to him as a matter of right in terms of extant rules and regulations the court directed union of india to grant family pension to the applicant within a period of 3 months let's move on to the advance rulings the maharashtra authority for advance ruling considered whether reimbursement by industry partner to third party aggregator of stipend paid to students would attract gst or not in this case the applicant was third party aggregator providing support for mobilizing trainees under the national apprenticeship promotion scheme the authority held that 
industry partner that provides training to the trainees is required to pay stipend. The said stipend was not directly paid to the trainees by the companies. Rather, the same were routed through the applicant. The entire amounts received as stipend from the companies were paid to the trainees without any amount being retained and the same was not taxable at the hands of the industry partner. In another matter, the Maharashtra Authority for Advanced Ruling decided that GST is exempted on hostel rent of less than rupees 1000 per day per student. The applicant in this case provided coaching service for students and also provided hostel facility for them on demand basis and extra charges. It was declared that such activity of the applicant was exempted under serial number 14 of notification number 12 by 2017 CT rate dated 26 6, 2017 as amended from time to time. Read SEC online blog for full report. Let's move on to the legislation updates. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, in order to facilitate seamless transfer of vehicles, has introduced a new registration mark for new vehicles, that is Bharat Series. A vehicle bearing this registration mark shall not require assignment of a new registration mark when the owner of the vehicle shifts from one state to another. SEBI has issued a circular for disclosure of riskometer of scheme, benchmark and portfolio details to the investors in order to protect the interest of investors in securities and to promote the development of and to regulate the securities market. A link will be provided to investors to their registered email to enable the investor to directly view or download only the portfolio of schemes subscribed by the said investor. The Central Board of Direct Taxes has passed Income Tax 25th Amendment Rules 2021. The amendment inserts Rule 9D prescribing calculation of taxable interest relating to contribution in a provident fund exceeding specified limit. Some points are required to be taken into consideration for the calculation of taxable interest relating to provident fund, which can be read in detail on SEC online blog. After the United States Supreme Court declined the request of urgent stay of Heartbeat Act 2021, the new abortion law comes into force in Texas on September 1st, 2021. The act bans abortions if there is a fetal heartbeat that can be detected. It has been in controversy as it bans most abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy as per the medical experts. Act has not specified the weeks. So let's come to the most exciting part of the weekly rewind that everyone has been waiting for. In this week's SEC online quiz, we had asked which judge of the Supreme Court can be credited with the maximum number of opinions authored and how many? The answer is Justice Arijit Pasayat, who authored 2085 judgments. And the winner is Rahul. Congratulations to you. Thank you, everyone. This is Devka Sharma signing off for this week.